Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the Pulse Pro Grow Room Monitor. So the, the Pulse is a, this is the Pulse Pro, actually make, uh, one that has a few less features called the Pulse One. I'll put links to both in the description. Uh, so they're really good for, for monitoring your grow space, whether it's a grow tent or a grow room. Uh, if you had a large enough space, you probably want more than one of these in different sectors. So it works over, over Wi-Fi and you can use their app or check the uh, website, sign in, check the website to, to see all your stats for uh, temperature, humidity, uh, VPD, uh, light intensity, dew point. Uh, so, uh, so those are really useful to know and you can configure to send you notifications uh, if, if something gets out of what you would um, would consider uh, you know good range. So if the temperature is too high or uh, humidity is too high or too low, you can you can set those parameters on what would trigger a notification. But you could also look at it at any given time and just to see where it currently is and then see what it had measured. Um, and so it measures anyway in intervals. So it'll give you some some graphs and data showing uh, over time how what these uh, metrics were were at. So it's really a uh, really useful tool and I want to take a look at the unbox this and show it to you. So it comes in a, in a discrete package. Okay, so top we've got some stickers. This is the, um, the actual box it comes in. Like I say, the Pulse Pro has some additional features that the Pulse One doesn't have, and uh, those are um, it can measure uh, CO2 levels. Uh, it can take PPFD and PAR readings. It can also do a, um, a color spectrum analysis. So that's pretty cool. And it also is uh, has a rechargeable battery built in. So you could you would leave it plugged in for your continuous monitoring, but you could also uh, unplug it and then, you know, like if you're needed to be wire free and do like uh, PPFD readings or whatever, uh, makes it easy to do that. So that's how the packaging looks. And you can see, like I mentioned, uh, CO2, poor PPFD, light spectrum, temps, humidity, VPD, dew point. Uh, VPD is important. There's a lot of um, information on online on, on the Pulse website too. It's a factor of the uh, temperature and humidity. There's a sweet spot range and you can look up those charts based on what you're growing, but it, it can tell you where you're at any given time. It affects different things. One thing it does is affect the like the stomata on, on the leaves, the how, how you know, how big they open, and that affects uh, CO2 absorption, which affects the photosynthesis and everything. So if your VPD is way out of whack, um, they could affect those things, could affect the quality of, of the uh, grow. So um, that's an important metric. And uh, so this shows also how, I'm gonna show on the app too once I get it set up, but um, this just a you know, picture on the box shows you some of the, um, the things that it, you know, how it displays those metrics. But they, there's a lot of different um, ways to look at that in here. So let's get this opened up. So there's the actual device. The Pulse, Pulse One is a white case and the Pulse Pro is orange. That's, that's one thing that's different. And um, so that's how that looks. stickers. There's a quick start guide. And there's your power adapter and the power cord. There's some mounting hardware if you wanted to use that. So it's the yes, you would hang this in your grow environment, whether it's a grow tent or grow room or whatever. I believe the the desired um, hanging placement would be to the off to the side of your plants but at the canopy height. So uh, that's what I read as the you know the best placement but um, if it's if I'm wrong on any of the stuff I'm telling you I'll correct it in the uh, description. I'll make a note in the comments too. But uh, yeah so 
I'm gonna, um, I've got a grow tent that I'm setting up for, uh, so I got a lot of peppers growing and a lot of extras. So I'm gonna take one of those and I'm in a really tiny tent. It's like a 16 by 16 by four foot tent. So I'm gonna set up uh, ventilation, uh, intake and exhaust, uh, set up the Pulse Pro and a fan. And um, also I'm working on a, like an automated drain the waste growing system. And I'll show that to you. I'll probably do a separate video on that, but I'll show it all. All right, so yeah, let me uh, get this set up in the grow tent and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so this is where I've got my Pulse Pro set up. Actually, I need to lower this a little bit. So you want it about mid canopy height. Um, so I've got it just hanging from the top. Uh, just a quick overview of this setup. It's a 16 inch by 16 inch grow tent. Uh, I've got an automated drain to waste system here. I'll get over that real quick. Nothing to do with the pulse spray, but I got so much going on in here, it'd be kind of cool to monitor my setup. So I've got an uh, intake fan at the top, exhaust fan coming out here. And the way I've got this set up, I've got a tank full of nutrient or a bucket full of nutrients. It's oxygenated, the air stone, that's to circulate the nutrients and also kind of supercharge them with oxygen. There's a very small submersible pump at the bottom connected to here, and that's plugged into this timer. So it runs for 20 seconds every eight hours. And the way I got that number, I just plugged it in and, and uh, timed how long it took for the nutrients to run out the bottom so they come through here you know this halo ring and then there are little holes all around and the nutrients go through to the this is just cocoa core and perlite comes through there's a pot elevator this is in a uh, heavy duty tray installed a drain plug there and that comes out to this bucket so so um it's pretty much hands off once it's set up and uh, so i got a little small fan one in there as well and uh, this is a, a Tivia grow light. Right now it's about 50% power. I did a review on this a while back and uh, I'll put a link to that. So, yes, yeah, so I got this turned on and um, I'm just going to close it up and I can, I'll show you uh, how the, the readings look. Okay, so here's the um, Pulse Pro app and at the top you can see Galapagos have it. So I've named it that because that's what's in that grow tent. You see it measures like temperature, humidity, light, percentage, VPD, dew point, pressure, CO2. The CO2, there's a method to calibrate that. It may be close already, I'm not sure, but since I'm not supplementing CO2, I may not do that. DLI, PPFD. I did do a PPFD measurement and it's about right because I checked that with um, my Apogee sensor and I've got it turned down pretty low. The PPFD is right. Uh, it also gives you a color spectrum analysis of the red, blue, and green and the percentage of the PFD of each of those. So that's pretty cool. Some of the settings. And this is the um, screen that shows you the current numbers at the top and then a chart of recorded data. And since I just turned this on a little while ago, there's not much there. You can see on the right hand side, all of the different uh, data points and metrics are color coded and you can tap on any of these to see what they are at any point in time. And if I, as I, um, as this goes on, this will fill the entire screen and you'll be able to change the zoom level by time, like an hour, three hours a day, a week, month, etc. But right now it's just the default of the uh, current day. But I could probably change it to um, you know within the last hour. So these are all of my numbers there. And you see on the far left when I first started, some of my numbers were a little whack because I, I played with the uh, offsets and I had uh, some uh, numbers skewed, but I fixed that so my VPD is correct now. Yeah, any of these you can look at and see VPD, light percentage, temp, humidity, dew point. CO2 and you can look at the visuals on these and see how they change over time. So uh, yeah this says a lot more than what I'm showing you here. If you go to the Pulse Square website there's tons of guides and tutorials, documentation. There's a very active community forum. People uh, 
share share information, ask questions. The, and and the response times are really great. The um, the people who work at Pulse grow uh, respond to to community questions and and support emails uh, very quickly. Oh, I need also wanted to mention if you add more than one Pulse monitor, they will show up on this screen here. So and you could drag and drop the order of these. So so if I had a second or a third one, they would show up in line here with these. And so that's pretty useful. All right. So that's that's the app. All right. So yeah, I'll, I'll post updates on this plant as the season goes along, and uh, also do more detailed um, discussion of this system that I made. So um, yes, yeah, so I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.